Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some Miel products. I've got the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard, and I've got the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I've heard really, really good things about these products, and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on them. So this Coil Sculpting Custard says it enhances curls with deep definition for thick, curly, tight fall hair. However, perfect for any curl pattern. The pomegranate and honey curl sculpt and custard is a lightweight, easy to finger comb formula for long lasting deep definition and brilliant shine. So typically used to style wash and goes, style as desired. So I did a wash and go, as you can see, and I use the leave-in conditioner under this. So this leave-in conditioner is a moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick, curly type for hair. However, perfect for any curl pattern. Pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner is a moisture sealant and cuticle smoother to prime natural curls, creating the optimal foundation for deeper, long-lasting curl definition. And this is day two hair. As you can see, it's really nice and volu voluminous. Can't even say that word. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I got on with the product and what I really think of the product, just keep watching. So I just washed and deep conditioned my hair. I used the ORS shampoo and I used a Pantene Gold Series moisturizing shampoo after, just so that I can get like the balance, right? And then I followed up using the Shea Moisture Makuna Honey Deep Conditioner. I'm not sure what it's called, but you know what one I'm talking about. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm just gonna let my hair down. And this is what my hair is looking like. I left it up in this for about 15 minutes, just as I was setting up the camera and whatnot. Um, so it is getting a little bit too dry for my liking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pile it off in four sections and then work in the back. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in this section in the back and I'm gonna re-wet it with my water. like that. So the first product I'm going to use is this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. Now as for the styling products, I'm going to be using this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. So very first impressions, I really love the packaging of this, the lovely gold detailing on the bottle and the fuchsia pink. And I discovered recently that she named the products over her daughter's names. Apparently they got like Ella or L in their name. So the name is supposed to be My L. And then like my L, as in her daughter's, like, that's so sweet. So I thought that was a really nice touch. So I'm really having a good feel with the brand already. So yeah, I'm gonna start by applying this. So it does come with this pump, which I'm not really too f much of a fan of um, using products with pumps on it because I like to lather on my products, especially when it comes to my leave-in conditioner. So yeah, let's see how we go. Okay, is it working? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's got this kind of consistency, not too thick, but not too thin at the same time. It smells really nice as well. Not too overpowering, not too pungent, but it does have like a, like a artificial sweetness. I can't put my finger on the fragrance, but yeah, let's see how this works in my hair. That's feeling really good in my hair so far. Pump, pump, pump. I'm using that much again. I'm gonna get into the section. It's melting into my hair quite nicely. It's giving me enough slip to be able to start to try and define my curls a little bit as well. Not too thick. Like with some products, they can be quite thick and they won't allow you to like maneuver your hair much. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Get it on my ends as well. I'm gonna wet my hair a little bit more just to get that right moisture level. Just work that through. That's what it's looking like so far. 
So on the instructions, it tells you to apply a generous amount to sectioned hair after the conditioning. Rub the product through with your favorite detangling tool. Do not rinse, leave in. So the direction for this one is to prime wet hair with the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner before styling. It says optional for best results, apply miel, mint almond oil after priming while hair is still wet for added conditioning and to reduce potential flaking. Okay, so I don't have the oil because I only ever use the oil mixture that I make. So I'm gonna apply my oil on top of the leave-in conditioner and then follow up with the coiling custard. <laughs> I'm gonna use a generous amount as well. And I'm gonna use a little bit more to get it in the section and on my ends. And I'm just raking that through. So that's all done. So now I'm gonna apply the coil sculpting custard. Oh wow. This is a bit of a weird one. A bit of a weird texture, it's like a gel. Like that kind of consistency. It smells really nice as well. Let's smell it. It smells similar to the leave-in conditioner, but this one actually smells a bit nicer. It's not as strong as that one, but it's gonna leave a really nice smell in your hair. But yeah, it's not too pungent, it's not too sweet. But yeah, this is what the product looks like. Oh. It's like snot. <laughs> yeah, so let's put this on, see how it goes for me. And I'm just applying that all over first, the whole perimeter of the hair, and then I'm gonna work it in to the middle of the section and on my ends. That went in quite easily. Um, there's not much residue left on my hands as well. It's defining my curls already, as you can see. And I can I can already feel like some sort of hold action going on as well. Mm. So far, so good. So now I'm gonna part it off and get into that section. And then apply a little bit more to the ends of my hair. Wow. Honestly, this is probably one of the best gels I've ever used. Because I do like the Cam Camille Rose Curl Maker, but I feel like it doesn't give me enough hold as the days go by. So if this does make my wash and goes last, this will le legit be my new favorite gel. Although I haven't tried the honey and ginger gel in my wash and go yet. So we shall see. Yeah, so I parted off the section into half once more and I'm gonna apply more of this gel to the roots and then I'm gonna start raking, smoothing and all of that action. Actually, in fact, let me try the Denman method because so I don't usually brush my hair out when I'm doing my wash and goes I usually just let my fingers do the work but the instructions do say to brush the product through so I'm gonna try and do that now and then define the curls afterwards oh wow <laughs> whoa so now I'm just gonna smooth it more and I'm just gonna do a little bit of raking just to separate the curls a bit. So I don't really like them all clumped up like that. Wow, that actually helped me out quite a lot. So much quicker. I usually have uh, quite a lot of trouble defining the back of my hair. So this is actually working really well. I'm really pleased with everything so far, the method and the product. Decent. Usually I don't like to brush out my curls while it's got the product in it because it's usually quite thick. But these products really do provide the hair with a lot of slip to be able to do this. So yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'm not struggling. <laughs> wow. And now onto this top section. Again, I'm gonna re-wet my hair. Just like so, and rake it through. I follow up with the leave-in conditioner now. Apply that to the perimeter of my hair smooth that through and rake it so yeah, I'm just gonna put more leave-in conditioner into the middle section here more to my ends and now I'm gonna apply my oil 
don't want to add too much to that front section there because it's just going to weigh it down too much. And then go ahead and use the sculpting custard. Oh, wow. Just look how it's just laying everything flat. Like, none of my flyaways are up right now. So yeah, more on the perimeter, the ends, and then just a little bit more in that middle part there. It's making my hair look really, really shiny as well. From the get-go, as soon as I put the gel in my hair, it's making my hair really extremely shiny. Look at that. And my hair's not soaking wet. My hair's literally just damp. Wow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels very lightweight. I'm hoping that it dries with this kind of definition and doesn't just start to get frizzy. But yeah, it's like, giving me like a slippy feel on my hands like aloe vera so yeah i didn't use too much either of the gel just the custard it's like that much left it's not much use at all which makes you believe i could probably add a little bit more <laughs> perfect so yeah, I'm just going to do the other side for my TikTok and my Instagram now. Um, if you're not following me on those accounts, you can go ahead and do so. There's seven actually on both of the accounts. So yeah. And I'm back and it's all done. It's looking real good at the moment. It's nowhere near dry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to leave it to hang and air dry for a bit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so this is two days later. I didn't have time to record yesterday, so I'm recording now. Um, I did go to the gym this morning, so it has got a little bit frizzy. And I do have this headscarf on because this is what I do when I go to the gym. But I must say, when I took the curls down yesterday, the curls were popping and it's really soft. There's no residue. But yeah, let's take this headscarf down. So, as you can see, the perimeter of my hair is a little bit frizzy. But let's take it all the way down and see what it's working with. Over here, you can see like it's getting a little bit frizzy already for it to be day two. So the hold isn't strong, but my hair feels really, really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some more of this curly sculpting custard, coil sculpting custard, and pull it here, here, and anywhere that I can see like frizz basically. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, I think the gym messed up with my results a little bit, but which is why I wanted to do it straight away. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like straight away. But it's good to see how the products hold up with gym and everything else, like weather. And this isn't something I technically have to do when I use the Eco Styler Gel. Usually it just gives me a strong hold and that's that. I mean, it's not too much of a botheration to do it, but at the same time, I am somebody who likes to just set my wash and go and just forget about it. So yeah, I might as well <laughs> literally just reapply the product all over. It's a little bit frizzy, but it's not like a dry frizzy. My hair still feels very, very soft and nourished. It's a really nice definition at the back there. Even though it's not as defined as I usually have my washing girls, I would still recommend these products because they feel so good in my hair. I'm gonna try the products without using the oil because the oil does give it a softer hold. So yeah, we'll see how I go with that and I'll let you guys know. But yeah, these are my results. To be honest though, I've been wanting my hair to be more fluffy, more big, because I always do complain about my hair being too flat or too, or too close to my head. And yeah, this is giving me like, a lot of volume which I actually don't mind at all. My hands do feel a little sticky though but it doesn't leave that residue on the hair 
but I think this is the, the glycerine that's in the product. My hair feels light and fluffy and it's really bouncy when I'm walking outside. You know, when you're walking outside and it's just blowing in the wind or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, all of that. As I said, it's really soft to touch. It smells really nice as well. My boyfriend approved the smell as well, so. <laughs> I do have the twisting souffle to try out next as well and i also picked up the deep conditioner so i will be reviewing those in another video if i would have liked the product even more if it did give me a little bit more of a hold but yeah i'm not unhappy with these results at all but yeah that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up it really does help me out and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me it doesn't cost you a thing but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye Oh,